So what are the differences between Super 8 film stocks? Well, there are two main categories of film stocks, reversal film and negative film. Reversal film comes out of the developing process as a positive image, meaning that you can thread it up into an old-fashioned projector and, well, project it. Modern Super 8 film comes in two reversal film stocks, Ektachrome and Tri-X. Ektachrome is a 100 ISO color film that was reintroduced in 2018 and is currently in very high demand. It's also $10 more expensive than the other Super 8 films, but Ektachrome has really beautiful and vibrant colors and it really gives off that 1960s, 1970s home movie vibe. Ektachrome does require a lot of light, however, meaning you really do need to shoot it outdoors on a fairly bright day. And because it's a reversal film, you don't want to play around with underexposing or overexposing it because it just won't turn out very good. Tri-X is a black and white reversal film. At 200 ISO, it is a bit more capable in lower light than Ektachrome, although you're still not going to be able to shoot great footage in super low light conditions, as it is a reversal film that, again, has a much more narrow exposure range. Other three film stocks Kodak makes for Super 8 are called Kodak Vision 3, and they are color negative films. Negative films are not actually projectable because they look like this. Yeah. These three films need to be digitally scanned, which makes them great for editing professional projects with your favorite NLA. But despite not being projectable, they are much more flexible and versatile than reversal film meaning you can play around with overexposure and underexposure and still get usable results, allowing you to push these three films in the extremes of lighting a lot more than, say, Ektachrome or Tri-X. For bright or outdoor conditions, Vision 350D will be your best bet, being the highest ISO Super 8 film currently made with an ISO of 50, and also having the tightest grain of any of these films. If you're in shade or in bright indoors area, however, Vision 3 200T is probably your best bet. This is gonna be the most versatile Super 8 film, with it able to get good results in both brighter conditions and even some lower light ones, which makes it a good jack of all trades film if you're gonna be shooting in varied conditions and you only wanna shoot one Super 8 cartridge of film. Vision 3 500T is going to be the film for your low light situations and can be used pretty well to capture situations with very little light that the other films just can't capture, like this bowling alley that has very minimal lighting. Even in slightly more bright lighting, 500T still looks pretty dang good, like in this diner. Hell, you could even shoot it outside during the day and it'll look okay. Your colors might not be as vibrant, but it just goes to show how versatile these Vision 3 stocks actually are. Oh, and one important note, if you use automatic exposure on your camera, make sure to note how many pins are in the inside of your camera where you insert the film. These pins detect the ISO from the cartridges, and cameras with only one pin are perfect for shooting Ektachrome or Vision 350D, but might struggle to properly expose higher ISO films, while cameras with more pins, say four or more, or even with the slider like this, should be able to detect and properly expose more types of film. And yeah, that's pretty much the fundamentals down. Hopefully this helps you have some insight into which Super 8 film stock is the best for your next project. Super 8 may be more limited than 16mm is as a format, but there is also something more magical and fantastical about Super 8 film. And it's honestly perfect for everything from family travel movies to music videos and even short films. Although you might not want to shoot a feature film on it. But come on, who would even do that?